Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Breaking news edition. Some real insanity uh, is breaking out in South Philly. Uh, specifically, on Friday night, there was a big brawl and fight at Chicky and Pete's, which is a pretty famous restaurant on Packer Avenue. Dave Schratweiser, the great Dave Schratweiser, um, the, the ace Philadelphia mob expert, reporter at Fox 29, uh, was able to break this news this morning. Um, and I'm going to come in and just color it up a little bit and give you some um, some granulars that Dave didn't get into. And then we're going to see how this plays out. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. We don't want to be hyperbolic. Um, we just want to state facts or the closest thing we have to facts. Um, it appears that the combatants uh, in this brawl the, that that started off as a, I think, an altercation, either one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two, two-on-two, uh, two, and then exploded into, a, you know, d dozens of people um, getting into fisticuffs and people trying to separate each other in the parking lot. It went from the restaurant into the parking lot. The police came. There's a police report. It appears that former Philadelphia mob underboss and capo Johnny Chang Changalini was the was the victim of uh of an attack. Um it also appears that the assailant I'm being told was a alleged button man in the Philadelphia mob, Joey Baldino, who is I'm told actually related uh, there's a picture of him. He's he's in Phil Narducci's camp. Um, Narducci has a lot of younger guys around him right now. Uh, he's a, uh, you know, the kind of the Scarfo era faction leader alleged. Um, and, but he's related to, to the Changalinis in, in some, you know, some fashion in their, uh, you know, their bloodline, but he's not team Chang or, or team Joey or team Stevie. He's, he's team Phil Narducci. We're not really sure what spark this. Um, I'm told that Johnny Chang's wife, Kathy Chang, uh, who has been a bartender at Chicky Pete's seemingly forever, um, jumped into the fray here, uh, possibly with a baseball bat. Um, Joey Baldino, I'm told, has been arrested. Kathy Chang was detained. Um, there's video of this that is, that is circulating. So we're going to keep tabs and there'll obviously be a lot more to report, but there seems to be a pattern here. Um, and I don't want to connect dots that aren't there to connect, but there have been several incidents uh, this summer, starting with the, the Joey Merlino cheesesteak place attempted arson um, at the beginning of the summer. And now we're headed towards the end of the summer and this has happened. There have been a couple other incidences that happened in July that raise eyebrows. Uh, one was a break-in, one was a shooting. We don't know specifics of that, but that's happened in the last couple of weeks in the month. And then this happened, and then we have the arson that we still don't know anything about. So, you know, this is seems to be a real powder keg. And dare I trace this? instability all back to last August. It's been a year since Joey Merlino launched his podcast and social media brand. The He's either the, you know, the, the, the titular head of the Philadelphia mob right now, or the former head of the Philadelphia mob. Uh, he's on the sidelines to a degree. He's never been on the sidelines before. And, you know, we reported here that there was a lot of const, uh, consternation uh, regarding that decision uh, with New York. New York was upset about the podcast. Things bubbled in the winter and there were some leverage embargoes. And it seems like that was taken care of back in the spring. Some restructuring on Philly's part made everyone in New York happy. Uh, Joey seemed to be happy. And then this summer we've had a series of suspicious events. So uh, I'll, I'll keep my ear to the, to the street. Um, obviously, keep a tabs on, on Dave Schratweiser's Instagram and, and his social medias. He'll be reporting it probably faster than I am. 
but uh, some some real interesting, possibly volatile circumstances that are uh, coalescing right now in South Philly. That's making it kind of seem like it's 1993, 1994, or could potentially reach that point as opposed to being in 2023, 2024. Please like, subscribe, share uh, here at the OG. We got a Patreon rolling out very soon where we're going to be doing more deep dives into stuff like this, where I'm going to be giving more analysis than just a five-minute quick hitter. Scott Marcin, OG Pod, I'm out. Mm-hmm.